presenting the 2018 Annual Accomplishment Report of Buena Vista National High School in the City Division of Tandai. Our only power and success come from God. Calendar year 2018 was a significant year for Buena Vista National High School. It is continuously achieving noteworthy performance in the academic and extracurricular activities. Participating and winning in the division and regional competitions, sustaining its programs and projects, effectively and continuously expanding its coverage of catering inclusive basic education to a wider scope of clientele, ensure that no learners are left behind in the realization of its vision and mission, as well as the fulfillment of its goals and targets. Indeed, it was a long dream of having a school campus with three new two-story classroom buildings, complete TVL tools and equipment, computer units, laptops, printers, and projectors. These things have finally come true, leading to a more motivated pool of teachers and learners performing better to reap honors for BNHS, thus making a difference. This humbling experience is made possible due to the dedication and commitment, hard work and cooperation of the faculty and staff, students and parents of the school in partnership with all its stakeholders, bonding together to promote a more responsive, efficient and effective delivery of education services. BNHS Senior High School has established partner industries in the work immersion of its learners covered under the Memorandum of Agreement stipulated in Deputy Order No. 30, Series of 2017. For general academic strand, learners experience work immersion in the following partner industries. East-West Rural Bank Incorporated, Cantilan Bank Incorporated, Rural Bank of Tandag, AOT Group of Companies, Self-Reliant Team Tandag, First Community Cooperative, Pera Multipurpose Cooperative, Nickel Lending Investors Incorporated, Azarcon Trinidad Law Office, Surigao Green Pearl Corporation, the Department of Education and Dag City Division, and Oryx Metro Leasing. For technical vocational livelihood track, learners experience work immersion in the following partner industries: Villa Maria Luisa Hotel and Restaurant. And Siladis Apartel and Convention Center. The BNH's feeding program is in partnership with the Feed the Hungry Incorporated, an international non government organization. As found out during the home visitation, IP learners have siblings seven years and below who are undernourished. Seeing this unfortunate situation, Buena Vista National High School, prompted by its social responsibility in the community, committed itself to a feeding program in partnership with a non-profit, non-stock charitable organization registered in the United States of America. The Mamanwas, whose community is nearby BNHS, are the recipients of the program. As Feed the Hungry Incorporated is financing the program, BNHS is in close monitoring with our feeding recipients. These are the Mamanwa children under the BNHS and Feed the Hungry Feeding Program. Mrs. Gina Angela N.T., representative of the Feed the Hungry Incorporated, personally appeared during the launching of the feeding program to convey her inspirational talk to the community. On July 19, 2018, Buena Vista National High School hosted the Oakland Kalusugan Sadepid Caravan with the convergence of five flagship programs, namely the school-based feeding program, the National Drug Education Program, the Adolescent Reproductive Health Education, Water Sanitation and Hygiene in Schools, and the Medical, Dental and Nursing Services. Services offered were the following, Mass Feeding, Libring Gupit, Medical and Dental Checkup, and Eye Checkup. BNHS was able to link with various service providers from both government and non-government organizations. Uh, our nutrition health office, our health, uh, city health office are always there to serve the barangay people uh, by 
having the same uh, programs like you have, like we also have Operation Timbang. Within those uh, ay, kulat sa timbang na mga ay, five years old below children are also given this uh, nutrition pack for, to the mothers and for the mothers to prepare this nutrition pack uh, for their uh, undernourished children. So today, we are all gathered here. Tanan mga stakeholders, ani adini I believe there is no reason that uh, our all Tantaganons will continue to be uh, many, we will still be affected will, with this uh, malnourished or undernutrition uh, problem. We at the regional office, we are so happy that uh, we arrived here and we attended this very significant activity of DepEd Tandag City Division. Akala ko, launching pa ang tahan namin dito. But this is the first caravan for Okin to Depet in the entire region. Congratulations. Uh, other divisions just actually conducted the launching of the Oplan Kalusugan sa Depet. But this is a unique activity. And I learned that this is the, the, the idea of Madam Roxanne. Thank you so much, ma'am. This is really a uh, uh, very good activity, bringing this uh, program to all schools no, with all the stakeholders. And I'm very happy that this is well attended by our valuable stakeholders. You know, this activity of Plan Kalusugan is not new in that end. Of course, si Ma Principal, ang yang staff, very good. BNHS is also able to link with other stakeholders during the conduct of its career guidance. Ms. Ginebel B. Bal, head of the Department of Labor and Employment, rendered her talk on career trends in the next decade. Mr. Amrafel L. Ginnit, a computer programmer, also talked about going digital in the future field of work. Honorable Julieta L. Miranda, Enterprise Bank Incorporated Tandag City Branch Manager, BNH's Alumni Association President and School Governance Council Vice Chairperson educated the aspiring professionals on financial literacy. On September 18, 2018, BNHS also conducted a symposium on suicide awareness. The school linked with De La Serati Memorial Medical Center BNHS is one in the advocacy of mental health, thereby monitoring students for any signs of depression, anxiety, suicidal tendencies, and the like. Mr. Paulo Alberto A. Martinez, a psychologist of AST MMC, discussed about suicide with the aim of dragging the figure down to zero. BNHS is also in partnership with the Philippine Red Cross Regalo Sur Chapter in developing leadership skills and providing first aid training to our student leaders. Student leaders have undergone leadership development program and first aid training for free on September 20 to 21, 2018 at Surigado Sur State University. And just recently, they also undergone another basic leadership training held on August 2 to 3, 2019 at the school, which was also participated by other secondary schools in the division. Another sponsored activity by the Philippine Red Cross to the Goggle School chapter was the standard first aid and basic life support with automated external defibrillator training for Red Cross Youth Advisors, held on September 24 to 27, 2018 at Villa Maria Luisa Hotel, Tandag City. Two of our young graphic artists, Ms. Liv Aizen Alaan and Mr. Jean Albertadios, were awarded as second best by the City Health Office in the wood painting contest on the World AIDS Day with the theme, Know Your Status. Sagayon na madayaw na eskwelahan 
labi na gayon ang senior high school. Kay ang senior high school, isa sa pinakamadayaw ng pamaagi sa pagtutlo sa among mga anak na sila makakatkot o madayaw ng pag-eskwela. Kung usapa ang mga maestro o ang mga maestra sa Buena Vista National High School, tulos kayo sila madayaw magtutlo sa mga bata.